Oh, Flash, this is so wonderful. I love all this. The tree and the fire on Christmas is just fantastic. I know, I love it. Tinsel is amazing. But, oh, oh, what's that, Tinsel? There seems to be someone walking past the window and up to the door. Oh, Flash, it's the postman. Oh, oh Flash, what's a postman's favourite herb? Oh, I don't know. What's a postman's favourite herb? Parsley. Parsley? Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, what do you get if you cross a dog with an elephant? Oh, I don't know. A very nervous postman. Oh, <laughs> oh I wonder what the postman's going to deliver. Oh, oh, Flash, I think it's some Christmas cards. I love, love them. Christmas cards. Yes. Oh, they're so full of joy and hope and lovely messages. Yes. And what I really love, Tinsel, is inside some Christmas cards, you get one of those letters where it has all exciting and special news. Oh, I hope they got those inside. They're my favourite. Oh, 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 looks like the family are coming in. I, I wonder what they're going to do. Oh, they're going to the advent calendar. Oh, I wonder which window they're going to open today. Oh, let's see if there's any exciting news inside. Messages. That's what I do. I deliver messages. Not like letters from the postman or a parcel delivery, but holy words from God. I'm Gabriel, I'm an angel, and I have the most amazing announcements from God to deliver. Not that people always realize it at first. <sighs> when people see that I'm an angel, they often freeze. And I have to tell them not to be afraid. God has so many incredible announcements and messages to deliver. But if the person I'm talking to is too worried about who I am or what is happening, then they might end up missing what God has to tell them. Mind you, I understand. Why, when I had a message from Mary, I thought she was going to faint. She's such a young woman, more of a teenager really. And I had such a spectacular message for her. Do you know what it was? That's right. I was to tell her she was going to have a baby and he would be called Jesus and he would be the son of God. Wow, that's quite something I know. God was going to come and rescue his people through Jesus because he loves us and he he wanted to bless Mary and all the people. Mary was to be Jesus's mother. What's the most incredible message that you've ever heard? Incredibly, Mary just asked, how could it be? Surely it was impossible. <sighs> but nothing is impossible for God. The Holy Spirit would make it happen. And she only had to think about her cousin, Elizabeth, who was also going to have a baby in her old age. After that, Mary bowed and said, let it be as you have said. That was it. In that quiet moment of kneeling and bowing her head, her life was turned around. God was sending his son and Jesus would save us all. What a message, a message of hope for you and me.
sure if you've ever played the game, pass the message. You know, the one where you all sit in a circle and one person comes up with a message and whispers it into the ear of the person next to them. And then they have to try and remember what they've heard and pass it all the way round. Well, the most people I've ever played, played it with has been about 60. And I can tell you by the end of that game, there was a really muddled message. Now, I wonder what would happen if you got the wrong message. For some things, maybe it wouldn't matter. But for other things, it's really important that we hear the message clearly. And today we've heard about Gabriel and the most incredible message that she gave to Mary. Now, this wasn't a message about picking up a pint of milk on the way home or not forgetting to take your school shoes with you when you go to play PE. This was the kind of message that was going to change everything. It was going to change Mary's life and the lives of you and me. You see, Mary was given the message that she was going to be the mother of God's child and that Jesus, the baby that she would have, was going to be the one to save everyone. What an incredible message, a message of joy and a message of hope. Now, there are things that we can think about to do in messages. Now, you might know that in crackers, we can find special messages in there. Today, they've got funny jokes on them and our crackers flash and tinsel like to tell them, don't they? But when they were first made, inside a cracker, wasn't a message with a little joke on it, but it was a motto or a riddle, a puzzle for you to try and work out. A little bit of fun. But when Mary heard the message from Gabriel, wow, that was quite a message. A message that she was going to be God's mother and it would change everything. You see, God speaks to us in many different ways and he's got so many messages for us. We can use the Bible to hear the message from him or our friends can speak to us. God can even drop pictures into our minds or do the most incredible things. All messages from God to us. Now, I was thinking about crackers and the fact that they were originally made as a sweetie shop. They were made to have little sweeties on the inside and a piece of paper around it with our motto or our riddle inside. And the motto and the riddle helped to have fun as the wrapping unwrapped to reveal a beautiful sweetie. But sweeties, there are different types, aren't there? Now, one of my favourites is a stick of rock. I wonder if you've ever been to the seaside and bought one of those great big sticks with peppermint taste. And you will know that inside there's a word. And that the more that you chew on it, the closer and closer you get to the word in the middle. And that word is written all the way through the stick of rock. Well, Christmas is a time when we remember the message that God gave to us. The message that Jesus has come to save, to bring hope, to bring joy and to bring love. It's a bit like the word love written through a whole stick of rock or joy written all the way through or hope. This Christmas, there are different things that God wants to give to us as messages just for us to hear. And so I'd love it if we could spend some time now. Spend some time listening to God for his message to us. And remember, we can catch from God in so many ways. He created us to catch from him in different ways. Through words, through pictures, through thoughts, through feelings. God can even just pop things into our mind when we weren't even thinking it. So we're going to do that now to listen for the message that God has for us. So I'd love it if you get your hands out like you're ready to receive a gift. Come Holy Spirit. Listen out for God and ask him to give you one word that he has for you today. to put into your mind a person that you know that he wants to give a message to. Ask God if he can put into your head what it is that that message is. It might be a word or a picture. It might be something you can draw or a feeling. ask God what his message is for us. Amen. 
And so we can spend our time today and this week giving that message that we believe that God has given to us to other people, that they may know and hear his voice. Oh, Flash, that was amazing. That special message all about hope, love and joy. I know. And it wasn't just a message from Gabriel to Mary, but it was a message of love and joy and hope for everybody at all times. Flash, what's a postman's favourite place to go on holiday? Oh, I don't know. What's the postman's favourite place to go on holiday? Barcelona. 